everyone. So my name is Daria and uh, I live in Chambly. This is a small French town. Even though the town is really small, it is one of the oldest uh, towns in France. It's full of history and uh, there are a lot of beautiful places. And uh, I decided to start this uh, video series about uh, different places in Chambly. So, welcome. So now I would like to show you this park, which is called Chantemesse. Chantemesse is made of two French words. Chante means to sing, and the mess it means a church mess. So the story behind the origin of the name, actually it is written on uh, this board here. And um, it is said that uh, there was a church not far from uh, this place where people were coming uh, to listen to the mess. But the church was too small, so all people could not uh, come inside the church. So they decided to come to this place and to listen to the mass from here. Nevertheless, it's also written that the church was uh, a bit too far. It was around 50 meters from here. So people uh, wouldn't be able to hear the mass from this place. In any case, this is a nice legend. And uh, I thought it's interesting to tell you that. So you can see this is a small park. It's uh, very green, and uh, people come here to do jogging. So there is this river called Elsh. And uh, you can see ducks there. And the uh, nutres, if you don't know, nutres are uh, fluffy animals and they are so cute. And I think I also heard the rooster right now. There is one rooster. Maybe you can hear that, I don't know. But there is a rooster. Every morning I hear him. And uh, not only in the morning, like maybe every hour. And it's a very happy rooster because it's, uh, it's so loud and shouting so happily. So. And it gives this kind of village feeling. I mean, it, this is not exactly a village because it's a, it's a small town. But uh, when you hear the rooster, then you feel like it's a real small, small village. So I always come to this park when I want to have a walk. And uh, I came here in different time and different weather. And uh, I've been living here almost for a year. And I see how everything changes. So. And uh, now it's uh, spring, uh, like late spring. And uh, even though there is always a little of greenery, even in the winter here, because it's not that cold, but still it was really nice to see how flowers start blooming, how birds start making nests. By the way, there is a curious pigeon here. So birds, uh, how birds start making nests and uh, how they start uh, becoming romantic and uh, make this gur 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 sound. I also want to show you one interesting thing that I noticed. So I see this bridge and uh, I see these uh, decorations here. So now, if you see, this is uh, like a stage. I never saw people using it, but uh, maybe sometimes they do. So actually, if you see this uh, corner on the roof, this one, just pigeon came here. So uh, there is also decoration which is uh, exactly the same as uh, on the bridge. Oops. The pigeons are flying like everywhere. Now I'll show you one more thing. So you can see there is a road. And um, if um, we cross the road, then we can see this river. 
and then um, I'll tell about the river a bit later but what I want to show you right now is this so do you know what is that thing? so this is a live walk actually uh, I think in English also people use this word this is a place where people used to come uh, a long time before and uh, wash their clothes so um, usually uh, there were women who came here and they were called the uh, Ravandier so I learned about it actually because when I came here I didn't know what is that there are ducks <laughs> so I didn't know about this and I was very curious about this I, th I thought it is uh, uh, some sort of uh, public place which is just uh, now closed but I thought people were coming here and uh, uh, just to sit and to chat with each other and then I decided to ask the locals and I asked in a local Facebook group and then they explained to me what it actually is and um, if you look at these benches inside that, then you can see that they also decorated in the exact same way as the bridge in the park and that roof corner now a vision game again so they always here they probably want to make a nest or something I was curious about this river from the beginning when I just came to Chambly and uh, I saw that uh, it is not possible to just go and uh, walk along the river because uh, from both sides of the river in uh, most places uh, there are these uh, private properties and um, I was always curious how people live there because for example if you see this bridge this is a private bridge so you cannot go there like no one can go there except the people who live in this place So, I don't know exactly, sometimes it can be neighbors, or probably it is one parcel of land just divided in two parts by the river. So people who are living on this land, they can just cross uh, the river uh, to go from one part of their property to the other. And um, actually once I saw a person crossing this bridge, so, so yeah, they indeed, they live like that. And uh, I have never seen people living like that before. Unfortunately, I don't have any friend who lives in such a house and who could show me But uh, at least I can go to the bridges and I can see everything from there So for today our trip to the park Chantemesse is finished. Thank you so much for watching